I'm convinced that I'm going to die a cat lady. Like, hashtag forever alone. That little hashtag definitely describes my life. For some reason, I never acquired the skill of flirting. Everyone else is always flirting and, like, getting guys or vice versa, getting girls. And I'm just sitting here, like, I'm sitting here eating bags of Cheetos and watching The Notebook and crying about how sad my love life is. There are times that I do try to attempt to flirt because people are always like, you know, it's so easy. But I just make, wind up making myself look retarded because I am quite an awkward flirter. Oh, Sam, you did the homework? Yeah, I did the homework really well. That's cool, I guess. What the? The bitch can't turn down by homework? What kind of freak is that? That ain't no freaky dicky shit I wanna get into. Like, she gonna be like, hey, you you wanna lay down on some, on some homework? We, we'll do some math equations? Fuck out of here! Because I don't know how to flirt, I can't make it evident to the guy that I like him. So it kind of just turns out to be one of these things where I secretly like him and built him up in my head and kind of stalk him and get to know him, and, you know, like through Facebook and stuff. And then it turns out really awkward because I, I start to like him even more and even more and even more. And I get to know him through his Facebook or through Tumblr or through Twitter. And then I never get to know him in real life, but I like him so much. And then when I can't date him and he goes out with another girl, it's basically like I just got broken up with with this imaginary boyfriend. So because the whole me getting upset with a guy I never dated happens quite too frequently, a lot of times I try to convince myself to grow the balls to actually talk to him. Of course, figurative balls, not real balls, because I go after straight men. Well, Brianna told me that I should just talk to him. What do I have to lose? Come on, Samantha. But like, He's totally gonna think that it's weird that I randomly just went up and talked to him. It's going to be obvious that I like him. And it's go he's going to think it's weird that I like him because we don't talk. And I'm going to look like a stalker and he's going to tell all his friends and then all of his friends are going to start making fun of me and then I'm just going to be the laughing stock of the school just because I started talking to him. It's just not going to work out. I just should not talk to him. I can't talk to him. I can't. He's out of my league. I don't even know him. He's out of my friend circle. I can't do this. And because I never get the courage to talk to the guy that I like because I wind up psyching myself out mentally because I just kind of go into like this like whole little rant in my head. I kind of just wind up doing quite a few weird creepy things. I know I'll never get the chance to talk to him, but I could still stalk him on Facebook, right? <laughs> Everyone stalks people's Facebook. That's why it's made. Oh my god, he's a cancer! We're astrologically compatible! Oh, he looks so cute in his default picture. I would lick cream cheese off those abs any day. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! He posted Charlie bit my finger to his, to his wall. He likes kids. Oh my god, that means he's sensitive, which is totally an extra attractiveness point. Whoa! He likes Nicki Minaj, and that's right! Gotta be itty bitty piggy! Oh, we could rap together. Oh, Samantha, you really gotta make an effort to talk to him. He seems so awesome. If only he could see how awesome you guys are and how compatible you guys are. You guys have so much in common. Because stalking his Facebook profile totally made you know the real him. You know everything about him now. It's just, it's time to bring it to the next step and actually talk to him. And then the next day in class, after the whole Facebook stalk of 2012, you just, you built him up so much in your head because you got to know him and you like his personality so much, but he doesn't know a single thing about you because he never talks to you. So it makes you even more nervous because you like him so much that when you actually go and try to talk to him, it doesn't work out too well because you don't really know what to say. And then although th during the day I failed miserably at actually getting the guy's number or just talking to him, you know, in an actual way besides just talking about schoolwork, because you know, schoolwork is the most romantic thing that a guy could ever speak to you about. Um, I kind of just lay in my bed trying to fall asleep, but I can't because I keep making scenarios of me and my future husband in my head. Hmm. I could walk up to him after class, um, talk to him about last night's Yankee game. Yeah, last night's Yankee game. That could be an icebreaker. Then he'll be like, you watch baseball? Uh, <laughs> let's try that again. That definitely did not sound like him. You watch baseball? And I'll be like, yeah, I love baseball. We should go to a game sometime. 
And then he'll be like, yeah, we should. Um, let me get your number. And oh my god, right after that, we'll just start dating. It'll be so perfect. If only life was as easy as the scenarios I make in my head at night. Well, I guess I'll just stay forever alone. Am I like the only one who does this? I totally am and I seem like a weirdo. They always told me to express myself, so I'm expressing myself. I put out videos every Sunday and Wednesdays, so go ahead and subscribe if you like it. And I would, if you like this video, you can go ahead and post it on your Facebook. Spread the word about how hilarious I am, because I am such a riot, aren't I? I'm not. Yeah. Okay.